So here we are today at the Asiatic Lion Enclosure and we've given Jay and Roberta some special treats. So today we provided them with some enrichment. Uh, I give them some meat um, wrapped up in cardboard boxes um, and in paper bags. Um, we had some hanging from the trees um, and some just in amongst the grass. Um, this encourages the, the animals to use their power um, to rip into the cardboard boxes um, as they would with a, a prey animal. Um, I also provided them with blood trails which led to scattered meat throughout their enclosure. Um, the blood trails are used um, to encourage them to use their sense of smell um, and they'll pick up on this scent and they'll follow it and then find meat at the end of the trail. Again this just provides them um, with with enrichment, um, it makes them use all their natural senses um, to find their food. It encourages their, um, their movement um, throughout their enclosure as well um, and keeps them mentally stimulated. So Jay arrived at the zoo in July 2012. He's five years old. Um, Jay's a, he's a lovely animal. Um, he's very relaxed, um, quite a calm nature um, and He's recently been introduced to Roberta. Um, Roberta arrived um, just on October 14, um, and she's just turned two, um, so she's still quite young, but since the introduction, they've actually got on very, very well. Um, Jay seems to be very tolerant and um, has actually a bit of a calming effect on her as well. Um, so they've been getting on really, really well since they've been introduced, um, and recently we've started feeding them together as well which is so far it's going pretty well. Um, they are, the Asiatic lions are part of an EEP, um, a European breeding programme, um, and it would, be, it would be massively important for them if, if they did breed um, in terms of the captive population. Um, and with the Asiatic lions, currently the wild population only stands at about 500 individuals, um, so it would be a massive benefit if we were able to breed, breed the species um, for general conservation.